Hello everyone and Hi. welcome to this week's Jurassic World Evolution stream. I'm Stakes, part of the community team here at Frontier Developments and joining me today we have a very special guest who has possibly the most incredible jumper in the entire world. We have games designer James Mulang. How are you James? Good, yeah. thank you. Thanks All for good. having me. Uh, you are more than welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here. Um, now look, before we get started, uh, I'm going to jump right into it because I know for a fact, from reading Reddit, from reading Twitter, that a lot of people have the same question for you, James. Um, and to be honest, I do as well. Where on earth did you get your jumper from? Yeah, well, starting off with a very pressing community concern. I, I think it is. Important. I think it is. Um, I don't know where this jumper comes from because my sister got it for me for Christmas. So, shout out Katie. Thanks for the jumper. Katie, um, if you could buy me a jumper like that as well. Uh, and. I would imagine probably the rest of the chat as well would like the jumper. Um, if we do manage to find out, um, I don't know, maybe we can put a tweet out or something like that and let everyone know. I'll maybe I'll, know. I'll post it on Reddit. And maybe we could put a pop up in the uh, in the game to show up. Oh, we could do that. Yeah, yeah let's do that. Would, would everyone be up for that if we um, if we do a little pop up in in the game for where to find this jumper? Then uh, if you can't actually see it, by the way, it's uh, no. I think you can. I think you can. You got you got a little. Little stegosauruses on there. Kind of abstract. Like, are they stegosauruses or are they maybe uh, chunkingosauruses? They're so ab it could be anything really. It's a sort of mul multi dinosaur jumper. It could, yeah. yeah. The sky's the limit, really. Uh, the, the sky is the limit. It really is. Um, so, this is, of course, another developer spotlight stream. Um, now, this one's going to be a little bit different to what you may be used to because when we were, when we were planning the stream, James said to me, he was like, you know what, Stex? I uh, I think I'd like to play some challenge mode. And I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, you want to play some challenge mode? Fine, but we won't complete it. And he said, well, <laughs> well, we might. There's a chance. Now, that's what we're going to be trying to do today, isn't it, James? We're going to be we're attempt. We're going to attempt to complete a challenge mode within the hour of the stream. If we don't. There's no consequence. <laughs> it's just that we're trying. Um, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go straight into uh, in, into the game here, um, and that's pretty much what we're gonna be trying to do. I've got some uh, some questions for you as we go along as well. Sounds good. Um, and I think what we what we basically need is a lot of moral support from the chat. Um, you probably need me to shut up and let you get on with it so that we don't waste. Uh, eight minutes of the stream. Um, yeah, but, but if, I, if I don't make it, this is this is why. <gasps> this will be the reason. You can just blame me. Yeah. Yes, that's perfect. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. Um, lastly, before we start doing that, let's have a quick look at who's in the chat here. We have Pixelated Sparkster, Stuffed by Nick, Rescuous. We got Crowd Pleaser. Uh, we got Yaffle in here. Trey's book. Uh, that's still Pixelated Sparkster. McCaw Twelve. That '90s kid. JC Scryer. Bongo Baggins. Bongo Baggins, we got lots of lovely people here. Ah, there we go. Uh, Hello, Varg. gamers. There we go. Varg and Doom. There we go. Great stuff. Uh, so, without further ado, let's let's get into it. Let's stop um, babbling, and All let's right. get you in. Which which island are you going to be choosing here? This today, is James? kind of an important choice because it is the different islands have different uh, requirements mm -hmm. for, for beating them, and so I'm going to go with Madanceros because it's the easiest one, and maybe I'll actually manage to do it. Okay. Um, and for easy mode as well. Yeah, sure, sure. I think that's I think that's fair. The part time is two hours. Um, yeah, I think we got this. Yeah. You reckon? You reckon we got this? Okay, we'll let's see. do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> so uh, I'm interested to hear from the chat. How um, how have you done time wise with this particular challenge? Has anybody has anybody done it in an hour? Has anybody done it in a I don't know why I said in uh, in under an hour or anything like that. Crowd pleaser says this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Stuff by Nick, two hour stream. Unfortunately not, um, because we, we've got to we've got to let James get on with with designing some stuff, and also he needs to eat some lunch. Yeah, um, that's I, pretty important. I do as well, um, but you know James is more important, so we've got to make sure we look after James. Okay. And eat and stuff too. Yeah, that's it. That's mm -hmm. it. Nitroid, hello, welcome to the stream. 
All right, James. So Welcome to Isla Matanceros. Yeah, this is what we're doing. So, uh, what's your what's your plan? Here, My what's main the... game plan is, well, first I'm going to build power stations. Mm -hmm. um, you want to just start uh, making so quick that I actually went in before the notification. <laughs> um, <laughs> you just want to start releasing Here's as many dinosaurs as you possibly can, mm -hmm. as quickly as you can in challenge mode. Sure. Um, so we just want to be slamming expeditions super quickly and from the start and pretty much consistently throughout the whole uh, battle ship. You, you have got uh, an expensive path yeah, there. Yeah, You've got yeah, expensive yeah. taste this here, James. <laughs> <laughs> the design of my path is very functional at this point. Right, um, yeah, sure. Yeah, so you're, you're going for a, you're not going aesthetics, you're going just functionality. Functionality. Because that's what challenge mode is. Hopefully my guests appreciate that. Yep, the sort yep. Of, uh, industrial feel of, of my park. I think they will. Yeah, yeah. I think when they when they come into the park and they immediately see a big old power plant, mm -hmm. I think they'll love it. That's what I want to see when I, I visit definitely it. Definitely do. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah um, absolutely. So, mm -hmm. expedition center. That's it. Expedition That's a thing. It is a thing. Yeah, so can yes. confirm. So we're just waiting for things to be built. But there mm. you go. Right. So, I pretty much always start with Streefy. Okay. It's Any my favorite particular reason. Oh, it's your favorite. Yep. Cute. And it's also incredibly good value for money. It, so, yes, um, yeah, fair enough. If you want to get your prestige started, then that's the way to do it, basically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fossil center ready. And might as well build a creation lab. Okay, good, good. I like this because um, I'd like to point out this is also on my profile, which means that I'm hopefully going to get a challenge <laughs> mode completed. Or at least we can one unlock I can a complete. Skin for you. Yeah, that yeah. would be great. Yes, great stream. Love it. Can't wait. Uh, JC says, only managed to get two to three stars in one hour. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So that's a pretty good uh, time, actually. Yeah? Um, it's It's been cool seeing um, some of the people strategizing online. Somebody even made a yes. whole website of Jurassic Park challenge strategies. Yep. Jurassic yep. World, I should say. Mm -hmm. um, and there's some, some really cool stuff. People sort of min-maxing, finding out the most efficient, cost-effective dinosaurs. Yeah. What order you want to do stuff in. You know, there's a, there's quite a lot you can do to speed up challenge mode, which is, which is why I like it. Yeah, um, for sure. It really, you can kind of get the whole experience of the game mm -hmm. uh, streamlined on one island. You know, you just sort of, uh, yeah, it's just yeah. It's, yeah. It's fun that way. I, I I definitely remember when I when I first uh, picked up the game because obviously I, I didn't work here when the when the game first came out um, and when I first picked it up I remember using someone's like massive Google spreadsheet of what dinosaurs could go with what and yeah like, even just that sort of thing is just really cool that people are so sort of into the game that they'll go to those lengths to like really try and help other people and just get that knowledge out there. Yeah. It's that sort of thing is awesome, isn't it? It's it's cool. It kind of turns it into a community learning. Mm -hmm. Everyone's learning together, learning to play the game mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. more efficiently. It's 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 really cool to see that. Yeah. People yeah. discovering and evolving and sharing the techniques and stuff like that. For sure. Um, so we've almost got a dig team returning. Yes. Um, now obviously I, I'm assuming we're hoping for a couple of fossils and also some Stuff we can sell, right? Stuff we can sell. There it is. That's sell what that. we want. Double click. That's it. Um, dig yield. That was very quick, by the way. Yeah. Like very quick. Um, I've been doing this for a while now. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is what I do. <laughs> dig fossil income is like a very good source of income in challenge mode because mm -hmm. um, it doesn't contribute to the Hammond fee, which is. Um, I see. Yeah. This here. Right, oh, I'm right. not making enough money. That's okay. No dinosaurs yet. Okay. Um, Minus 10,000 per mm -hmm. minute. I'd be a little bit worried if it were me, but um, I, were my I've bank got faith balance? in you. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah. But yeah. It, we'll turn it around. Away. Okay, it's going to turn around. Um, but the Hammond Foundation fee is obviously it's a proportion of your income mm -hmm. gets sort of taxed away sure. to add some more challenge to challenge mode. Yeah. And um, But fossil income doesn't apply to that. So right. it's a good independent tax de deductible mm -hmm. source mm -hmm. of income. So we're going to be relying on that quite a lot. Okay, cool, um, cool. And, and did you have any particular strategy with the contracts? Did you go for specific um, uh, sectors um, or are you just kind of clicking whoever? 
I try and keep a balance because I don't want to get sabotaged. Although okay. in easy, easy mode, sabotage isn't, isn't too uh, punishing. You can mm -hmm. kind of deal with it. I personally like the science division because they give me a lot of uh, collector herbivore fossil, for example. Sure. Which is like, yeah. I'm doing yeah. that anyway, so mm -hmm. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll pay the extra money. Makes sense. Um, stuff like this, photograph a dinosaur eating from a feeder, that's definitely doable. Yeah. Once I have a dinosaur. Yeah, sure. This is kind of something I'm going to um, get to eventually. And this, yeah. Um, I might even cancel this one actually. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I feel like that's one of the sort of more annoying contracts at the start, or annoying isn't the right word, one of the more difficult ones. It is difficult, and it's uh, it's going to be a while before I get to that point, so I could mm -hmm. just do some other contracts. Exactly, in the exactly. Um, that's good, what I want. Uh, we've <laughs> People are saying they found the jumper, by the way. They found it? Uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, well, if someone lets me know, then I can buy another one. Even when I'm on laundry day, I can just swap it out. Oh, I was going to say I smell a giveaway, but um, oh. no, 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 no. We're probably not even allowed <laughs> to do that. Who knows? Uh, I'm, I'm totally, this is from That Joel, is it. So That's the brand. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have a little look here. That's, uh, that's it. I love it. Oh, that's not I a bad price either, them. yeah. Oh, look at that. I'm going to buy it. James, I'm going to buy it. We can and match. Then we like can next match. Stream, we can wear matching jumpers. Yeah, every time, in fact, every time I wear it, I'm just going to like drop your WhatsApp and be like, uh, yeah, dude, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm going to wear the jumper today. Are you oh, going to wear it as well? Like, specifically to match. To, okay, to, not to make sure we don't match. No, 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 we want to match. Okay. We want to be like, that's what we want to be. We want to be the cool kids of, uh, of, of Frontier. We want to strut our stuff around the canteen in our jumpers, just like, yeah. Want to be. This is what we do. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm not quite there yet. Okay. I know, I know you, are, you are, and I feel a bit nervous in your presence. But um, that's okay. You know, I'm getting that, that happens. That happens. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, just waiting for Stuthy to to cook a bit right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. The old expedition's going. Why don't we go? Why don't we go for one of my questions? Sure. Um, so I'm interested to know, James, uh, how you got into the games industry. I, uh, I, maybe some people say, oh, stumbled into it, but for me, I kind of always, I always knew I wanted to work in games, mm -hmm. um, and this is my first job at a large games company, but before this, I was working at a small uh, company that made educational games, yeah. um, which was, it's good. It's sort of, working at a small company was a nice way to sort of yeah. get my feet in the water, mm -hmm. yeah. um, and a way to build up portfolio as well mm -hmm. um, and I did computer science at uni as well so that kind of prepped me made a yeah. bunch of games in my spare time made a portfolio okay saw an interview yeah went to the interview got the job got the job <laughs> amazing um, so is that in terms of um, I know we, we we mentioned it a little bit um, on your right, on your nice. blog post mm -hmm. um, but sort of getting for, for people People, the viewers that may be aspiring designers, um, would you say that uh, going going to university, getting that portfolio is sort of of utmost importance for your career in design? I think a portfolio is really important. Mm -hmm. um, it's certainly something that I've heard people say that's what they look for when yeah. they're, they're looking at candidates. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. also not just having games, but being able to talk about why you made certain design decisions. Mm -hmm. And because yeah. that's kind of what you'll be doing as a designer is not just coming up with ideas, but having to uh, communicate them to other people mm -hmm. and make them seem worthwhile. Um, like it's very easy, especially if you if it's your own idea, you, you kind of inherently think it's worthwhile. But yep. it turns out other people need to know that as well. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So that's a, a big Annoying part of it. Other people. I know. Other Ugh. people. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, so, so not just having a portfolio, but actually having written uh, some stuff about the thought process behind oh, okay. the games as well, I think is really important and right. something that people look for. Um, See, this is why I don't think that I could um, ever be a designer because I think I would just spark off loads of ideas and people would be like, yeah, but why? Yeah. Because like, I think it's cool. I, yeah, but write down your reasons why. Yeah. And I sometimes, think sometimes, it's yeah. cool. <laughs> When you're doing that, when you're trying to write down the reasons why you think something is a good idea, you realize, hold on, this yes. isn't a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
or, or sometimes the opposite happens but um it's it's worth yeah sure doing that and, and sure. being prepared to sort of kill your darlings right like yeah. if you have an idea that you're really excited about mm -hmm. you still need to keep in mind that maybe it's uh it's not a hundred percent necessary right? yeah sure um, i thought you were about to say you still need to keep in mind that um it might suck <laughs> <laughs> i was trying to come up with a diplomatic way of putting that but yeah i like of, it yeah like, no i like it um, <laughs> um so did you ever sort of uh, partake in some some game jams and stuff like that? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So at uni and, and, and since, I've done a few. Mm -hmm. I've had a few games that I've started at game jams have, um, I've, I've ended up pushing them a bit further and, and, and publishing something. Nice. You know, just on, on itch.io or something yeah, like that. Yeah. And actually on itch, there's a lot of, um, you know, online game jams that you can apply to. But there's yes. something special about going to an, an a local game jam. Yeah. Teaming yeah. up with some people, working on, on something. And, yeah. And there's the added sort of social pressure as well. Mm -hmm. I think of, mm -hmm. of everyone working on something in the same place. Yeah, definitely. I've, I've seen, uh, I've actually, I've actually never taken part in them, but I have been around, uh, one of, one of my old studios would have quite a lot and I've been around the studio while everyone's doing a game jam and they're staying there for like 24 hours straight and you're just like, yeah. man. That's you guys a, need to sleep. That's a bit much. And I you feel know? like if, if you do that, you eventually you get a, a point of diminishing returns. Right? Yes, um, I totally agree. Yeah. Yeah. If I if I do game jams, I try to keep nor normal working hours. Sure. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's a I think that's a good strategy. Definitely. Yeah. Otherwise, Definitely. you just you just get tired and aren't working as efficiently. That's it. That's yeah. it. So, so we've. Out speakers. Yeah, we've got pretty far. I, I feel, at least ever since I've been looking at you while you've been talking, I've kind of looked back and you've you've done more things, <laughs> yeah. um, which I'm, is I'm trying obviously to great. Because yeah, you're doing much good. better than I would be, to be honest. Um, you know, I'm I'm actually quite surprised. Um, <laughs> Mika says, uh, "Can you give them the name Hannibal?" I reckon we can manage that. I reckon I reckon we can do a couple of names. Yeah. Any other name requests? Uh, well, I think you should also call one uh, Stuff by Nick. That's what I think. I've just picked you out at random. Um, and I think you should call another one Crowd Pleaser. Yeah. They are crowd go. pleasers, actually. They are? Yeah. Yeah, that's Animal, it. Stuff by Nick. Oh, JC's just said, what about, uh, what about Lecter? Yeah. I I like, like a pair. Okay, yeah. Maybe next one. Next yeah. one can be Lecter. Uh, Crowdpleaser says, "Oh dear." Now hold on, Crowdpleaser, because <laughs> you're you're used to me naming the dinosaurs and eventually something bad happening to them. We've got James in control of. They're this. in safe hands. Yeah, so nothing's going to happen to them. Maybe the odd disease. Maybe, maybe I'll not. Forget to feed knows. Them. No, don't forget to feed them. I always do that. Yeah. Yeah, I set up a really, uh, I say a really cool enclosure. I set up an enclosure. It doesn't look that great. And then I usually forget to put something in there. I, it's either water or it's food. It's easily done. It is, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You know? Um, you get so worked up about making it look really cool. And then you forget to put, you know, the basic necessities in there. It's, um, what can we say? What can we say? I'm going to get this. Emergency shower contract. It's a nice, nice. One. That's good, and it's good for park safety as well. That's important too. That is very important. Um, Beautiful. That's my favourite one so I far. Her. That's your favourite one so far. Yeah. Yeah. And you've called her Lecter. Black. Black. So we now have, what is this, five streeties? Five, yep. Yeah, okay, good. Good to know I can count that. That's, <laughs> that's decent. Um, so is the plan pretty much incubate as many streeties as, as you possibly can at the moment? It is a bit, yeah. It's kind of like... Uh, Interesting, okay. You play Age of Empires or something, and the first thing you do is start just pumping out as many villages as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. This is mm -hmm. the sort of opening phase of challenge mode, just trying to get some income going. Sure, But I want to sure. immediately uh, branch out into other dinosaurs mm -hmm. soon, because that variety penalty... Yes. It's... Uh, 
Yeah, because I mean, for me, if I if I went to a park and um, I I was sort of met with ten street view miners, although for a good probably even a couple of hours, I'd be amused. Yeah. Eventually, I'd probably want to go home. You know. Eventually, yeah. I want I want to see like a you know a, a triceratops or a, or a stegosaurus. But I imagine if you opened up a park in real life mm. and you you had dinosaurs, but you only had one dinosaur, mm. I think people would still probably they'd want to come visit. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh no. We just sweep that one. Up. That's a nightmare. Yeah. That one. Yeah. What's your? Um, how much have we got the the genome up to? About seventy percent. Oh wow. So, so ah. Any well, you got a bit unlucky there, didn't you? Yeah. Ah. It's bound to happen though. But it's still worth pumping out as many dinosaurs as you can, even sure. if the occasional one fails. Um, so what's our what's our profit like per minute at the moment? Are we are we positive? We're positive. We've gone from minus ten thousand to fifty five thousand two hundred forty seven. That That's is good. Significantly better. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like that a lot. We're only fifteen minutes in. So we're doing well. Could, could yeah, do it. Actually. If you times that by four, it wouldn't make it. But okay. Okay. If you times it by some other number, then it might. It might do. Yeah. It might do. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> actually, we're doing that. Um, before you said it wouldn't make it, I was going to be because I I've heard this. That's a lot. Um, I know I haven't heard this. I've always got an interpretation of designers that they have to be. They actually have to be very good at maths. Mm. Is that true? Not necessarily. No. No. Um, yeah. I think it does help, but you know we've got Excel that helps a lot. That's actually very true. Shout yeah. out Excel. Yeah. Shout um, out to Excel. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> It, it kind of depends what what kind of feature you're designing, and some designers more specialize on systems. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, sort of. We have one designer who really focused on the economy of the game. Okay. Um, you know, uh, sort of. What level of dinosaur prestige should lend, should lead to what level of income, and mm -hmm. how are we going to mm -hmm. do the, uh, the the foundation fee and things like that. Yeah. yeah. And then we've got people thinking more about dinosaur behavior, um, and the interactions between those systems. Mm -hmm. So. It kind of runs a, a spectrum. Right, okay. Um, okay. I think we've just gone down in uh, money per minute there, so I'm we just have, yeah. noting that down as a negative <laughs> about having you on stream. There we go. No, I'm kidding. That's, that's not what we do. Um, hold on, there was something about incubating developers. I'm sure there was. <laughs> Hatch devs into the park. <laughs> have those. <laughs> So I can run around eating guests. That would be nice. Varg says there should be a version where we could hatch devs into the park and have them instead of dinos. You would really want our faces in your park. I wouldn't. I I wouldn't do that. I might. I don't know. If you if you could be any if you could be any dinosaur, what do you what do you think you would be? It's a good question. Mm -hmm. I mean, a carnivore is like a good choice, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Although it does get into fights, a lot of fights with other carnivores, so you've got to be a tough carnivore. That's true. You know? What dinosaur would I want to be in one of my parks? Probably a Struthi. Yeah. Just because I take pretty good care of them. Although I wouldn't want to be one of the ones that fails to incubate. No, that would be awful. That, that would be horrible. Short lived. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's a very Struthi centric stream so far. But I, I feel like you're really, really loving Struthies. I'm kind of I'm pushing pushing people need to appreciate these dinosaurs. People need to appreciate them. It, it's funny as well because I've I've just um, had back uh, next week's developer spotlight um, like the some of the parts of the blog post and uh, next week's person also loves Streaky Minus as well. Yeah, they are a crowd. So but apparently they are. I've um, I I like them. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh. Is this an Edmontosaurus? Are you putting a new one in? Might be. <gasps> <laughs> Things are hotting up They're hot right now. Okay, I'm on the edge of my seat <laughs> about getting Edmontosaurus in here. After what? How many have you put? Twenty Struthiomimus there? It's it's freaking out. <laughs> yeah. Um, Plot twist. We're now doubling by Nick. the number of dinosaur species in the park. Like it? Yeah. Yeah. That makes it sound much better than adding another. Yeah, that's good. If I was doing marketing like posters for the, for the park right mm. now, I'd probably say something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You could totally do that. That'd be great. 
pixelated sparks. I feel like this is a bit of a, uh, a, a non-question. Uh, hey, James, what's your favorite dinosaur to have in your parks? It's a good S question. Say it. I'm not going to say it. Go I'm on, not say it. <laughs> Please, you, you just say it. You should just say it. Dilophosaurus. No, it's not. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> Do you really like having Dilop uh, Dilophosaurus in your park? If we get that far, I will release a lot of Dilophosaurus. Really? Because they're also incredibly good value for money. Actually, they are. I remember uh, Reddit's been talking about this, or, yeah. or had been talking about this, particularly when Challenge Mode came out, finding out what the best dinosaurs to release um, were. Hmm. And I think they came up with um, the combination of having uh, Diplodocus Oops. and Dilophosaurus yes. is apparently very good. Yeah, they are good. They can share an enclosure too mm -hmm. because uh, Diplodocus is not too threatened by a tiny uh, yeah, it shouldn't Dilophosaurus. Be. Shouldn't really be. No, um, you can just step on that. Yeah, like, no, no dramas, not at all. No trouble from the Diplodocus's point of view. Yeah, Ooh, here he yeah. comes. <gasps> I love their multicolored. Yeah, know. yeah. I was, I was literally just thinking that. It's funny as well because with something like the Edmontosaurus, I'm always sort of like, yeah, yeah, you know, it's alright. Yeah, it's a dinosaur, so it's, it's naturally cool. Sort dinosaur. Yeah, but then when it comes out, you're just like, actually, this thing is really, really beautiful. Yeah. You know. It's the way it moves and everything. Mm. I love it. Absolutely love it. So. You're all good here, really. Like the social's fine, all, mm -hmm. and you—you've. Uh, is it is it by luck that you've done their enclosure perfectly for their habitat, or is it just because they're obviously starter dinosaurs, so they don't require as much they uh, attention like that? They aren't too picky, actually. Mm -hmm. In fact, you can put a Struthi in a enclosure about this size, and it'll be happy. Really? Yeah. Um, which is just enough room to put in a feeder as well and a single tree. Wow, which was a single tree. Yeah, Love so it. they're kind of uh, pretty chill as dinosaurs go. Okay, good, um, I'm glad. But I don't think I'll be that cruel today. I'm, I'm, I'm happy you're not gonna be that cruel to yeah. be honest. I feel like that'll be mean. They also, they work pretty well together because they both have very high population and social. Yeah. But they also, yep. they don't need any uh, na neighbors of their own species. Sure. Yeah, so they're, they're quite that's, forgiving starting dinosaurs. So it's not like my favourite, which is the uh, Ankylosaurus, who just hates everything. Yeah, they you, are picky. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> I remember first releasing it and being like, "I'm going to have a park of these," and just being like, "Oh no, they 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 they're so antisocial. They just they need their space. They yeah, but you know, just just chill, just be okay with having with sharing a little bit of space. You know, you yeah. know." They don't want to. Unfortunately, there's no uh, dinosaur counsellors. No. Sort of, although, actually, true. Dr. Wu, you can make him more social. Would he be a counsellor, would you think? Oh, I see what you're saying. Gene genetic counsellor. Yeah, he's a genetic counsellor. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was brilliant. I feel like um, Dr. Wu would really appreciate that. Like, that could be his job title. Yeah, that, yeah. Could be the, that could be the job title. Love it. Uh, Stuff by Nick says, uh, so while wearing, uh, so while wearing, while uh, browsing through dinosaur jumpers online, uh, I found a jumper I got shouted at for wearing in work. It was a Christmas jumper with a dinosaur eating reindeers. Yikes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like quite the graphic Christmas jumper there. Yeah, you but know? I feel like you come work at Frontier and no one would shout at you for wearing that jumper. I don't think they would, no. Which people would appreciate no. it. No, that is, that's 100% true. Uh, Trojan, hello, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome. So, what's what's your plan at the moment, James? What's uh, we're, we're still just really, it's almost like you have the routine down. Mm. You're just like, yep, release, expedition, click, 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 contracts, click, click, you know, and it feels like you've you've practiced this a lot. Yes, yeah. well, we have. We, we played through challenge mode a lot when, mm -hmm. uh, when we were first working on it, and you also had a lot of people from the company who aren't necessarily as familiar with playing the game play it. Yep. So, um, yep. and I mean, I, w I would say that the designers have the best scores on, yep. on challenge mode. Makes in, in sense. I feel like that makes sense. Um, but we have I, either them or QA. What about QA? They must be. It varies. We yeah. have some QA testers who are very, very quick, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and, and some who are less quick. Yeah, sure. But sure. It's, 
it's actually very good to see a variety of people sort Absolutely. of play test the game. Yeah. And um, for example, there's certain things that you wouldn't notice if you were running through challenge mode so so quickly, like the dinosaurs eventually start to die of old age. Mm -hmm. and then you have these sort mm -hmm. of waves of dinosaur death that you have to deal with. Yeah, so it can, that makes sense. It can sort of yeah. snowball. If, if you're not quick enough, they start um, dying in waves. You have to start repopulating the park, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. playing catch up, basically. Yeah. Um, if you sort of sprint to the finish, you can avoid that issue. Man. So. Yeah, I didn't actually think of that. That's um, that's actually quite an interesting take. Like, so there is a sort of there's almost like a sweet spot for challenge mode of completing it. Otherwise, if you start taking too long, you you're going to get a sort of like you say, a kind of snowball backlog, if yeah. you like, of bad things happening, mm -hmm. like your dinosaurs, the like dinosaurs dying. Yes, but it's highly upsetting. By that point, maybe you you got enough income that you can sort of make a whole incubation facility. Yeah, you know, that's true. Or creation labs. Yeah, go yeah. into one enclosure. You can start transporting them off, repopulating mm -hmm. parts of the park as, as you need to. So it's it's okay. not okay. It's not ever you know futile. In, in challenge mode, you can yeah. always you can always bring it back. I feel. Okay. Um, okay. Well, what look while we're while we're doing this, I've got another question for you, uh, if okay. you don't mind, James. Um, why why did you pick design as a uh, a discipline to go in? It's a good question. Because mm -hmm. um, I could have potentially gone into programming, um, but I guess design for me is where the interesting decisions are. Um, and what I really like is thinking about how is a player going to approach the game and trying to put myself in their footsteps, basically. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, that, that to me, I think, is, is where the interesting stuff in games is. Yeah. Um, but it's, uh, I think it's useful to be able to empathize with the other departments as well. Yeah, um, for sure. Yeah. But yeah. That's cool. So, would you say that it's been like you you said uh, you said before that you sort of always known you wanted to be in in the industry? Yeah. Did you always know you wanted to go into design, or were you sort of like uh, kind of weighing some things up, not entirely sure, having a bit of a explore around? You know. I guess yeah, and there was probably a point at which I didn't know a game designer was a, a thing. Yes. I just sort of thought I want to make games. You mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. um, and what it takes to do that, I guess I'll, I'll do that. And mm -hmm. then at some point I must have become aware that a game designer was an actual job yeah. that people would yeah. pay you money for. Mm -hmm. and I was like, that sounds pretty good. Sounds great, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the um, dream. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, do you know, it's funny you say that. I, I completely, completely get that. Because I, I remember when I was in school, um, this was a very long time ago, by the way, like very long. Um, I, I never thought of um, the people making the games. I, I don't know why. I didn't think like, oh yeah, you know, making games is a job. Like, I just sort of like thought like, people make games, they release them. Hmm. It happens. I'm playing a game right now. Um, and it was only sort of, honestly, it was only when I sort of randomly went into uh, QA years and years ago that I realised that this was actually a thing. Yeah. So I, yeah, I think I think nowadays with so much more sort of communication, like um, you know, developers are doing lots of streams, like we are. Um, I think I think it's sort of getting out there a lot more to to the younger generations that uh, you know this is a this is a this is a thing. Yeah. And it's a it's an awesome thing to do. So I'm kind of I'm hoping that more and more people sort of know from a, an earlier age that it's a, it's a, an option and a really good option. Yeah, it's you know? like, this is a thing you could do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, that's why I think this sort of thing is, is important. Yeah. Because, um, you know, if you watch a DVD or something and they always used to have behind the scenes special effects and stuff, I used yeah. to love watching that stuff. Oh, me too. Um, yeah. But games, when I was growing up, didn't really have that. I remember no. Googling, how does Nintendo make games? Mm -hmm. Like, I had no idea. Like, do they have some special computer? Or like, yeah, yeah. I guess they kind of do. Dev mm -hmm. machines are a bit like that. Yeah. Um, but I just had no idea whatsoever. So like yeah. it, it's cool to sort of peel back the curtain a bit. And yeah, see. I totally agree. Totally agree. That's it. Uh, da, da, da. Fossils, fossils, more fossils. <laughs> it's 
stuff by Nick says, job invite accepted. I'll be there on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please don't do that stuff on it. Um, just, you know, it's all good. Cool. Right. Um, okay, now you've put a triceratops in here now. Yep. So, uh, same enclosure? You haven't made a new one? Same enclosure for yeah. now. Okay. Yeah. They, oh, they, for can, now. they can handle it. Interesting. Um, at some point, I might sort of partition this bit off. Okay. As my, yeah. as long as I'm not around too close. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Um, All right. Who got diseased? Oh, oh no. Unnamed. It was one of the unnamed ones. Well, now that it's got a disease, should we give it a name so we can oh get even more sad when it dies? Um, it's time to treat it. Who's not going to be upset that they're, they're a diseased dinosaur? Joel. Joel, Joel won't be upset. Joel, right. Joel's, Joel's one of our fantastic mods. I can. Uh, Sorry, yeah. Joel. There we go. Yeah, sorry, Joel. We're going to um, cure you pretty soon. You're going to be cured. There's there's no dramas here. It's it's all going to be great. Uh, we got this. There he goes. There's a winky face from Joel. <laughs> you're a good sport, you are. <laughs> right, so once that's fixed, I mean, I'm sure that this disease is going to spread. It'll probably spread in the time it takes me to build the Ranger Center. One thing I'm quite excited for, though, James, is uh, you you said in your, in your blog that... Um, you're you like getting like down with the ranger teams mm -hmm. you know you like getting into the vehicles and just driving around the park i'm looking forward to seeing your power slides no pressure but yeah yeah that's yeah. what i want to see that's uh, i think to be honest that's what we're all here for mm -hmm. is just to see your power slides i um, could just drive over here and do donuts for half an hour and totally tell yeah yeah that would be great okay, cool. I'd, I'd be so up for that i have actually i've made a race course in uh, sandbox mode before, yeah. which is really fun. Do you still have it? Uh, it's probably hidden in the depths of my folders somewhere. If you still have it, please send it to me, hmm. because we're we're going to start doing uh, some Jurassic World Evolution racing on yeah. streams, um, and I want some uh, I want some race tracks to, yeah, yeah, yeah. to do. So definitely send me them. Maybe I'll we can them. maybe we can steal you for a bit of time, and we can have a you know, a battle, uh, or a race, as it may be called in the normal world. But I'm going to go with battle, because it sounds more epic. That's what we're going to do. Sounds good. Dinosaur, that's a good idea. Dinosaur shape racetracks, yeah, that's it. Here we go. <laughs> oh. All right. And it's, it's raining, time. so my power side is going to be even more powered up. Oh, like oh. I like that you dodged the people there. Whoa. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Got an achievement for it. Got a new vehicle skin. Look at that. All right, good stuff. Ah. Now we see your shooting. The dinosaurs uh, don't like my power slides. So that's they don't like the power slides. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> this one's cornered, so maybe this, I'll be able to get this. Yeah, one. I'd, I'd go for, go for that one. Two dinos sick now. Yep. Joel's right. Joel's right. Nope. Almost. Almost. We're sort of getting to see your. Um, Oh, that's the wrong oh that was the wrong one. That's See your, your first person shooter abilities yeah. in this one. Which by the way or, I'm or lag complete, that yeah, I'm completely lacking in those. It's it's not it's not good. Gotcha. Go for a headshot. Oh, oh. you're going for a headshot on it. Oh right in the feet. <laughs> oh. I mean that's one way to get it happening quicker, right? You yeah. know, get it right in the beak and then I guess it'll straight to the bloodstream. Yeah, straight into the straight bloodstream. Straight into the brain. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm not sure if that's where common cold it originates, but yeah. maybe, maybe. I mean, Shantae, uh, one of our other community managers, says that if you've got a cold, uh, a good thing to do is put some vapor rub on your feet. Okay. Have you heard of this? I haven't heard of that. No, me neither. So I still don't really believe. It. I think what she's trying to do is make me put vapor rub on my feet and then get grossed out. You know, I think that's what she's trying to do. Playing the long con. Yeah, mm. I, I, she would. She totally would. Um, so. Yeah, Joel, you are cured. No problem. We got you. I didn't do anything, but you know, James. James did a pretty good job. Um, all right, let's let's go for another another question. Sure, James. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with a, a more sort of broad one, if you like. Okay. Um, have you always been into dinosaurs? Have I always been into dinosaurs? Mm. I should say yes. I should, yes. You don't have to. <laughs> you don't. You don't um, have to say yes. I think. 
I, I've always thought the, the majority of people, at least I like to think, if you say, do you like dinosaurs, would be like, dinosaurs are cool. Yes. Like, I think ev most people would think dinosaurs are pretty cool. But then I think there's the, the mix of people that are like really super into them and know everything they possibly can about them. They research them in their spare time, they love it. And then there's the people that just like the look of them like, and just love the idea that, you know, of even Jurassic World being able to bring back dinosaurs and have them in a park. Yeah, I guess I'm in the second camp. Like, mm -hmm. am I, was I always a hardcore dinosaur fanatic? Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe not, but I like animals. Dinosaurs yep. are animals. Yeah. Yep. And it's, it's pretty cool to think just how ridiculously old dinosaurs really are. I know, yeah. Um, and so alien, but familiar yeah. as well. Well, this one's pretty wacky. Oh, I know. I know. Um, Look at that. And it's, it's, it's been really cool researching the dinosaurs, you know, for writing in-gen database entries and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Finding out just um, how our perception of what dinosaurs are like has completely changed yep. in the last yep. hundred years um, or, or less, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's always amusing seeing the old Victorian, uh, like, etchings of what they thought a dinosaur looked like and it really? looks like a sword. I don't think I've ever seen them. They're pretty amusing. Really? Sort of giant, well, because dinosaur just means lizard something, mm -hmm. dinosaur, mm -hmm. big lizard, can't remember. Maybe, yeah. 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 Um, but they're not lizards, but people thought they were. Right. right. Um, and, and so some of the old renditions of what dinosaurs mm -hmm. um, look like are pretty wacky. But then these could be completely wacky as well. We That's true, yeah. We could look, people in 100 years time could look back on- They'll be laughing at us. They could look back on Jurassic World Evolution. Yeah. And be like, what were these guys? This is nothing like dinosaurs now. We know that they were actually um, like kittens. Yeah. Giant kittens. Wouldn't that be terrifying? That would probably be even more terrifying. Well, I know kittens are really cute, but if a giant one, I don't think I like that. That's they, they not cause my a shark. bucket list. No, yeah. yeah, no, don't like that. Um, but but yeah, it, and especially the uh, this like interpretation of what a dinosaur looked like, especially as you can see it with the T Rex. Not that we have a T Rex to show, mm. but um, they've become kind of around the time Jurassic Park came out. That was when this like I think they call it like the dinosaur renaissance mm -hmm. in terms mm -hmm. of paleo art and renditions sure. of dinosaurs that was the point at which dinosaurs started looking a lot cooler and people right. actually started caring about them oh, okay. um, and uh, and that image is, has stuck and, and that's the image that we're going for yeah. as, as well as just yeah. being faithful to the films as well of course yeah yeah it's uh, it's like uh, Marlene one of our character artists was saying uh, last week it's it's sort of a uh, when we when we have a dinosaur that doesn't feature in the films, it's yeah. uh, it's a real mix of sort of trying to stay true to the films, but also see what it could have done in real life and get that kind of nice mix in there. Yeah, you know, yeah, I think that's I think that's really cool. Yeah. Um, so with this, how far do you think we we've got here? Do you, are you happy with what you've done? I think I might have been a bit ambitious, mm -hmm. saying I was going to complete challenge mode. Yeah, on, on the screen. I'd like to point out, um, last week, this was what James said to me. Yeah. Um, however, in the past couple of days, we've had a bit of a realization that it was slightly ambitious. So we just thought we'd give it a go. Yeah. You know? Um, but it's all right, because... We've got some cool Edmontosaurus. We've got some cool Edmontosaurus. Uh, there's, there's people that are now named after Street View Mimes. No, mm -hmm. there are Street View Mimeses that are named after people. There are yeah. no Street View Mimeses named after... No. Oh, this is a very tough sentence to say. <laughs> I'm going to move on from that sentence because it is my brain is actually starting to hurt. Mm -hmm. So let's do that. Um, what's your profit per minute at the moment? It's at whew, double Whoa. since we last looked. Double since we last looked. It's Look at good. that. I think that's good going. Yeah. Yeah. I'm proud of that. At, at yeah, you, you could totally be proud of that. I, I remember uh, when I tried uh, challenge mode on a, on a stream. Um, actually, was it me? It might have been one of the other community managers. I can't remember who it was, but within the hour, they had failed the challenge mode. And I'm pretty sure we did a, I think we did a normal difficulty. That's actually quite impressive in its own way. <laughs> so, well That's done. brilliant. <laughs> I, love, I love the way you put that so gently. Oh. Um, oh. I remember when we started 
Jurassic mode for the first time, yeah. um, we, the way we'd configure the difficulty would mean that you would almost inevitably fail um, every time you tried it. Wow. And we've kind of dialed it back since then. But it was, it was interesting sure. it was at the first point when it was super mega crazy hard. Mm -hmm. um, you had to occasionally, you'd build a expedition center just to send out an expedition. You had mm -hmm. to delete it just to get enough money back that you could then build a fossil center and, and get some profit from that. And it was a sort of, um, the park constantly was growing and shrinking and- Wow. Yeah. That sounds, um, that sounds slightly too intense for me. It's a bit too intense you know? for a stream, I think. But uh, yeah, you, you yeah. can still benefit from doing that in, in challenge mode yeah. uh, in the game right okay. now. Interesting. Um, okay. If you have a real disaster, sometimes that's your only option. Right. Start right. deleting stuff, selling dinosaurs, things like that. Top tips. Top tips. Here we go. Um, <clears throat> so we've got about we've got about nine minutes left, James. I don't know how far you think you're going to get, but I'm going to. Uh, I don't think I'm going to complete challenge mode in the next nine minutes. No, you sure? Mm. It could happen if I really focused. Yeah, but I'm not going to let you focus. That's yeah. the thing. So okay, I'm not blaming you. I no, look, I think I can take the blame for you not for you not completing this. Okay, um, I don't think any blame is on you. I think you've done a fantastic job. I'm genuinely very very impressed that you've managed to get sort of this far within such a short time space. Uh, I think you've done. I Thank think you've you. done great. That means, that means a lot to me. Um, I've got a couple more questions for you, James. Sure. Um, Let's let's go with a more a more developer type question, and then we'll go on to a, a couple of fun ones. Cool. Um, so when you're when you're thinking up sort of new concepts as a as a designer with your design hat on, mm -hmm. um, where would you typically? Is, is there a certain place you would draw inspiration from? Okay, yeah. Um, specifically in this game, mm -hmm. we've we've obviously got the the cinematic universe. That's yeah. like a big uh, what's the word? Big inspiration mm -hmm. for us. We want to make sure things are consistent and that we're sort of giving that Jurassic Park and Jurassic World feel when, yeah. when we're designing new mechanics. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I quite often look at existing animals when I was thinking about dinosaur behavior, um, mocking up new uh, prototypes or, or design documents for that, that's sort of how do, dinos how do animals behave in the world and mm -hmm. basing the uh, behavior off of that. Um, there's other games we've played um, yeah. Yeah. that, you know, in the same genre, but you're just seeing completely different genres as well. And it doesn't even have to be game related, the inspiration. Sometimes you can just think of something that you find interesting um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in real life. Like I, I skateboard in real life, and so I try in some games to communicate some element of that. Mm -hmm. um, not necessarily one to one, but yeah, that yeah. feeling maybe of of, of balance and, and, and flowing between obstacles and right, and okay, that's like that. interesting. Man, you are a lot cooler than me. <laughs> Even skateboard, I don't do anything like that. Um, you know, do you skateboard into work? Please tell me you do. When my bike is broken, yes, nice. but it takes a lot longer. It takes long, yeah, of course it does. Makes sense. The Makes Cambridge, sense. Cambridge cobblestone roads don't really get on with it. Oh, skateboard yeah. wheels. No, of course they don't. No. Yeah, I'd fall off a lot. I mean, I'd fall off anyway. I'm absolutely terrible at, uh, at uh, skateboarding. <laughs> JC Scry says, Dev question, uh, what are the devs currently working on right now? Well, right now we're doing a live stream. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to have lunch. That's good. I like that. And uh, there's some other stuff. Yeah, there's uh, good stuff. But we can leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Okay. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Um, OK, uh, w another question that I think everybody will um, will want to know is uh, what's your favorite Jurassic film? I think it's it seems like an obvious answer, but Jurassic Park, mm -hmm. the, yeah. the first, mm -hmm. it's really the one that got that sense of mystery and intrigue and um, and, and tension mm -hmm. really nailed it. I think, um, but I also really like Jurassic World one as well. Yeah, just because to see the the. the the vision of Jurassic Park realized. Yeah. And with all the product placement and stuff as well, it's like a quite realistic interpretation of what the park might look like. You know, mm -hmm. you've got Starbucks next to the T-Rex enclosure. It's sort of- Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's cool to see. And it, it's kind it of really the same uh, fantasy that the game fulfills, mm -hmm. seeing the park fully realized and, and what it would be like. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. 
No, I think I. Uh, to be honest, I think I'm exactly the same as that. To be honest, yeah, I would say I can't add anything else onto onto what you said because that's pretty much every single word would be exactly what I've said. So I feel like you're kind of stealing my <laughs> answers. So There's I'm the Lego uh, Jurassic. <laughs> There's the Lego Jurassic World uh, movie as well. That's a classic. Yeah, yeah. Um, you gotta love all of, all of that. You gotta love it. It's um, it's good. Uh, lastly, because we got we got about five minutes. Um, there are there are a couple of community questions on uh, Reddit, um, but I think because obviously because we've got the forums uh, down, I think they they might be up. Check on social media uh, on the official channels for that. Because uh, obviously I'm currently not in contact with anyone, um, but uh, I think because we 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 couldn't put it on the forum, we got uh, a, we got a couple less questions than normal, but that's okay. Uh, we can go through. So uh, the two questions we've got are from uh, Pixelated Sparkster. Uh, now, as we only have a few minutes, we're going to try and do these relatively quickly. Um, so the first question is: uh, When doing game design. Uh, it's important to play with the elements of control and luck. What's the direction taken for the Jurassic World Evolution game? Do you focus more on luck as control is the illusion? Right. Well, that, yeah, that's a good question. And it's definitely true that you have to play with luck and, and mm -hmm. elements of luck. Um, find some kind of balance between the two. And, but for a Jurassic World game, things are meant to go wrong, mm -hmm. right? So. Um, we did have to find that balance. Uh, there was a point at which we thought maybe we want the game to adapt, and if you've just had a really bad calamity, it won't hit you again while you're, while you're on the floor, basically. Mm -hmm. um, but in the end, we kind of backed away from that because that sort of perfect storm moment in Jurassic Park, um, that is kind of the, the experience of trying to get across. You know, your dinosaurs are sick, there's a storm happening, uh, you've been sabotaged, the yeah. all collides at once, the stars align, and mm -hmm. it's, it's chaos, yeah. basically. And there's really no way to do a Jurassic Park game justice without having yeah. chaos. Exactly. exactly. Um, I'm sure Mr. Jeff Goldblum would agree. Yeah. Um, well, I, I feel like that's, it's also what happens in every single movie. Yeah. There's always the sort of perfect storm kind of thing, isn't there? And it, it just, everything goes so, so wrong. Um, and yeah, I, I, yeah, I think I totally agree. It's just having that, um, having the possibility for all those things to go wrong, just gives it that kind of the edge, if you like. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that word anymore, but I, I think it's a good word to put on it. Yeah, I'd agree. Know? Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's knowing that by chance that could happen. Mm -hmm. That's what makes you realize that your park is quite fragile, really. Um, yeah. For sure. So yeah, I, I, I think chance and luck are very important in mm -hmm. this game. Okay, cool. Um, so we're going to move on to the to the second question. Um, so the question is, were you able to read from the ideas and features request uh, on the forums? Uh, if so, were there any community requests you saw that you liked? And what's the process like to implement such requests? Right. Okay. So yeah, we do we do read the uh, forums. Uh, pretty constantly. Mm -hmm. We're always looking at uh, people's requests and their suggestions. Um, we're looking at it from a variety of angles. We're also looking at just if something gets requested a lot, then we go, okay, this is something that they see as really important, mm -hmm. basically. And how can we address this? Um, and so one specific thing we did was we added in dinosaur social grouping um, yep. based on a lot yep. of people's uh, requests. So they'll move together, eat together, drink together, um, uh, of dinosaurs in the same species, and uh, we also increased the frequency at which dinosaurs sleep because a lot of people were saying, oh. um, you know, I don't see my dinosaurs sleeping as much as I'd like to. They were saying that, yes, um, I remember this. Yeah, but that was something where, and this kind of fits in with the whole the, the process to implement their suggestions is that we have to think, how is this going to fit into the game as a whole? Is this going to impact the the simulation? So we had to make sure if dinosaurs are now sleeping three or four times as much, um, then it, they're not going to be starving to death, right? They're going to yep. still be able to fulfill their their 
water and, and, and food needs. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So we have to think about it from that point of view. Yeah. And um, there's obviously, we'd, we'd love to be able to implement uh, as much stuff as, as people uh, request. But yes, we have to think about, sure. um, yeah. Yeah, how does it fit into the game as a whole? How does it fit into the vision and, and also the cinematic vision mm -hmm. of, of the, the Jurassic universe? Yeah, yeah. Because the thing is, uh, with I, I don't think I don't think anyone in the studio could say um, that they don't like the majority of ideas that are on that forum. Yeah, exactly. Because they are super cool. Mm -hmm. Like they they absolutely are super cool. Um, it is it's very much like you said. It's there's a lot of factors that goes into that sort of decision making. Um, Definitely. Yeah. But yeah, um, I hopefully that answered uh, some of your questions. We are unfortunately out of time though. And I don't want to keep James any longer because I can, I, can, I can hear his stomach. No, I can't, I can't hear it. That's probably, I'm mic'd up, you, you Probably know. mine. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, um, that is gonna be us for the day. Uh, we will be back next week, same time, same place, with a whole new developer spotlight. Um, but in the meantime, James, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks hope, for having me. Hope you had a wonderful Thanks for time. having me, everyone. And uh, we will see all of you guys next Thursday on the next live stream. Goodbye. Bye.